Hi everybody, hope everybody's having a good day. Um, yeah, my son bought this bonsai plant a couple of months ago. Um, it's not looking too healthy, so I'm trying to revive it a little bit. Not that I know much about them. I only know that bonsai means tree and pot. <laughs> I always thought it was just the name of the tree itself. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do some more research. Um, these piggies have been up on the windowsill of the garden shed since this time last year. Um, they were high fired and then I tried to barrel fire them. So I'm trying to revive those as well. I've just put some oatmeal on that but because the clay's not porous anymore I'm not sure how well it's going to fire. Um, yeah, back to the bonsai. I've made my own concoction of a fertiliser. Um, carrots soaked in water for 24 hours. <laughs> So Jeff may be able to shed some light on whether or not that's a good idea. Um, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I don't even know if they actually need fertiliser. Um, maybe all plants do at some point. Um, so yeah, here's some of the bonsai pots that I'm making at the moment. This one's just been glazed with my ash glaze. Um, I know they like good drainage because um, they're submerged from what I've seen. Well, people water them differently. Um, so yeah, quite a bit of glazing going on. Ooh. So I'm just going to make another one of those. Folks, I'm just going to try a slightly different camera angle today. See how that works out. Supposing the clip keeps stopping. Oh, my daughter cut my hair this morning. <laughs> Bless her. She hasn't got around to doing the back yet. <laughs> she gave up on me. Um, I don't think that's going to work, folks. The, it doesn't look like the the lens is right for that sort of view on the camera. Try from over here. Yeah, some uh, videos I watch, um, you can see the thrower and the pot. That to me just looked too far away. <laughs> oh, by the way, as well, folks, um, these came through the post <laughs> the other day. Um, they work, one's on the wheel now, um, but the threads don't go all the way in like the other ones, but it's only a, a minor thing. <laughs> Right size threads, for some reason they just don't screw in as far as the other one did. So I'm getting to the end of my crank clay. Um, I've just ordered 25 kilograms of a, a white stoneware clay body, or well, just off white. I think sometimes a change of clay can be as good as a change of glaze. So for now I'm sticking with the glazes that I'm using. Just try and get a bit of consistency going. Instead of chopping and changing them all the <laughs> like I seem to. <clears throat> be careful with this crank clay, it soon split at the rim. I hope my daughter finishes the back of my hair off. <laughs> Just abandoned me. And then again, it doesn't matter, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, the phone rang and that was it. I'm 
also going to have a go at making some oval, oval ones and some squared off ones. So I'm just going to roll the rim on this, just a bit of strength. I think I've um, mentioned folks my Etsy shop um, I've also got a, an Instagram account if anybody ever wants to have a, a quick look on there at what I've been making it's uh, LB Ceramics 14 I don't upload as much as some people do but I've just put a couple of tea bowls on there and some of my airbrush artwork. <clears throat> water out of my <laughs> little bucket and chucked it over the back fence and my chamois leather's gone with it so I'm going to go try and find that. There's been about a dozen over the fence. I don't want to be littering. <laughs> Nice simple pot, easy to make. <clears throat> so that'll have little legs on it like those. Okay folks, thanks for watching. more research needed now. Um, I'm not actually sure if they actually like direct sunlight so I'll have to go and find that out next and maybe take it outside. <laughs> okay bye for now.